we're going to be talking about how to live a life of organization where you are constantly organizing on autopilot and you're not even having to take up extra brain space. Hi, I'm Paige Killian, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. Hello, hello, and welcome to the third episode of the Moms Organization Motivation Podcast. I'm Paige Killian, and I cannot believe I have finally gotten organized enough to get a podcast out into the world. I am overjoyed. I can't tell you how fun and exciting this has been to record these things for you, be thinking these things through in a strategic way to make sure I'm drip dropping good bits of organization truth and obviously a big fat dose of motivation because even though we probably know the difference in an organized space and a disorganized space, sometimes it's not just the knowing, it's the getting motivated to do something about it. So that is what I'm here for today. So often my clients tell me, Paige, I might put the effort and energy in to get a space organized, but it doesn't always stay that way. Do you understand this feeling? Do you know firsthand what it feels like to put in the effort and feel like it's totally been in vain because you had turn around and things are disorganized mess again? Okay, I get that. I totally live that life sometimes too. I understand. And I'm going to tell you what's been my savior. Living an organized life on the daily is done not just in one great spurt of energy and you get stuff organized and then you chuck it off your list and you never have to worry about it again. No, the way that it is sustainable and the way that you are not constantly having to reinvent the wheel and start all over again is by organizing on autopilot. And that is what I want to talk to you briefly about today. And because I know that you are a busy mom on the go, I'm going to tell you that I feel like organizing on autopilot is what has saved me and kept the things that I've put in place, even if maybe they have to get switched up a little bit here and there just because your kids are getting older and you guys have different needs um, or your, your style changed. So you decided, oh, I really like the brown woven baskets and now I really like the clean, sleek lines of the all white or the clear or whatever. Yes, those things might change a bit and we can talk about how to make that work for you and purchasing bins and things that you're going to put in place in a way that you can use them again in the future, right? But today we're going to talk about not specifically the little bins in place, but we're going to be talking about how to live a life of organization where you are constantly organizing on autopilot and you're not even having to take up extra brain space because mom brain is a real thing. We sometimes forget what our children's names are. We sometimes forget the name of an item that's in our hand or something we're asking somebody to go get for us. And you're just like, really? I mean, I nursed you and this is what you do to me. You empty me from brain cells. Thanks. Appreciate ya. Totally worth it. But you know, because why? We are multitasking moms. It is in our DNA. It is what we do. We are capable of taking on more than one thing at once. So I want to quickly talk about what kinds of things that are great to do multitasking wise, and then what kinds of things maybe we just need to zone in and focus on that one thing. You want to make sure that if you are going to be multitasking, that you're not halfway doing a job, right? You want to make sure you're completing it. So like, let's say you are making dinner and you got a kiddo who needs help with homework. Say, come on, sweetheart, come, you know, hop up to the table over here, hop up to the um, bar, what's it called? The island, whatever situation you've got in your kitchen. And you can be bopping back and forth and you can be saying, okay, you hear the words math homework. And your daughter starts saying, mom, I need to figure out what 38 divided by five rounded to the nearest tenth and then squared 
and you're like, hang on, let me get the pasta going. So you put this thing in because you need to walk over to them and you got to do all these steps with them, right? Can we make math be in three simple steps? Can we do three E's for math? I don't know. Meanwhile, you got the laundry going. So you hear the buzzer go off and you know, oh, you know what, honey, you, you keep working on what we just did. I'm going to run really quickly and throw this in the dryer and then hurry back and throw the pasta sauce on the drained pasta, right? This is just, this is the life we live. How do we take those mad mom superpower skills, multitasking queens, and put that into organizing so we're not really having to think about that? Like you're not really having to think, what is it going to take to throw the laundry in? No, you're just doing it. What is it going to take to make some pasta? I mean, even if you're following a tedious recipe. I mean, unless we're talking risotto, what, what in the world? I love risotto. Now I'm hungry, but that takes some, that takes some focus. Maybe that day you don't need to be doing homework because you got to keep stirring, got to keep stirring, adding in more chicken stock. Okay. So with organizing on autopilot, this is something that you can get so good at that you're not having to think about it. You're not having to process all of this. And the way that you get to that point is first start with your three E's. You know, you've got your purge, your essential purge, your enhancement. You decide you're going to sell or donate those things that you've purged. Then you're going to put in the, you're going to style it. You're going to put in the proper bins, organization bins to make that space work for you best in your style for now. I'm just going to say you want to prep your kiddos on the front end. That is a way that you're organizing on autopilot, just like you're talking to them about their day and what happened that day. And did you eat your snack and your lunch? You're saying, guys, when we walk in the door, what I would like you to do is blah, 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 right? Give them their own three simple steps. I would like you to do this, this, and this. Prioritize what's the most important. So having an area in your space that you can put things. How about this? How about maybe what you don't want to do is halfway do things when you're multitasking. You want to complete a job, but you need it to be almost like in limbo for a moment until you can properly put it away. So don't just shove stuff in a drawer. If you can't properly fold it and put it in and put it in the correct place, have perhaps a little limbo area. And this for us is the staircase. So that entryway is still clear and beautiful and welcoming. That's what your home should do. It should welcome you home. And we put shoes that need to go upstairs and be put away. We put maybe some laundry that I did where one person's stuff got put away, but the other one hasn't yet. And so we put a little stack on the stairs and we have a rule at our house that there is no wasted energy. If you see something on the stairs that needs to go up, do not walk up the stairs and bypass it. Grab it. If it's something that belongs to you, that's your responsibility. If it's something that belongs to someone else and they wouldn't mind if you touch that thing, I'm speaking specifically about shoes, for example, or like a ball cap, a hat, grab it and go put it away for them. What a kind gesture. That could be their love language, acts of service. That could totally be their love language. That would make them so happy that they didn't have to bend over and pick that up because their hands were full and somebody did that for them. How nice. So maybe you want to put a catch-all basket at your entryway. And so it might have some like easy liftable handles so that at the end of the night, you've got that catch-all basket so you can just walk around your house before you go up to bed and put those things away where they go. Complete the job, okay? Because multitasking can be a great thing, but if it starts to get in the way of you completing jobs fully, it isn't as beneficial as it may sound, all right? Hey, thanks for watching this video. For more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom. Don't forget to check out the Mom's Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you loved this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and... Happy Organizing.